feel like IPA lately and there's lots around and uh, this is Switchback IPA out of Victoria at 6.5% alcohol so they got uh, kind of a uh, kind of a different label than what I've normally seen on most of these beers so Switchback so this is like um, from Lighthouse Brewing right and so this is all you're gonna ride better fucking BMX uh, down a mountain if you're fucking half cut on IPA, I guess, which is not true at all. But by the time you hit the bottom, you might want one because that was probably pretty intense, right? Uh, so let's see what we got here. I'm hoping it's pretty good. All right. So it's uh, looking uh, pretty clean, pretty filtered. I mean, that is uh, very, like, that's really clean. Look at you get some weird reflection shit. Hey, how's it going? How are you? All right. So the color is a very dark gold, kind of a pea color. Oh, fuck. That's awesome. That's a really good, like, uh, citrusy, fruity aroma here. And also, I've been saying that, like, for, like, all month. Citrusy. Citrusy. I wish I could come up with something different. But that's what it fucking smells like let's top it up a little bit here that's really good like if you're looking for like the citrus kind of like fucking american shit this is that's like grapefruit and orange and uh of course i always get the peach and the, maybe just a little bit of plum or something That's awesome. You could smell this beer all day. This is this is gonna taste awesome, I bet. Well, it tastes exactly like, like what it smells, but there's an even bigger fruity finish. Yeah, so I'm not picking out a full on insane bitterness like with some IPAs. Although I'm sure there's some bitterness there. I'm just kind of desensitized to hops, I think, for the most part. And I just drank an India Pale Lager, so. Well, damn, that's, uh, yeah, I wasn't, I was expecting, pro like, possibly a lot worse, we'll say. This is, uh, like, if you're looking for a nice fruity IPA with not screaming grapefruits, like, it's just, like, there's a bit, there's definitely the, the main source of the awesomeness in the fruity flavor is a grapefruit backbone, but it's not major grapefruit bitterness it's not the major flavors it's just like major grapefruit aroma kind of characteristic if that makes any sense it's not it's not over over grapefruit in the flavor or even in the aroma but it kind of has the, the grapefruit peel kind of that that kind of just gives it that extra extra fruitiness because nothing is really as fruity as grapefruit you know i can't think of anything that's fucking fruitier than a grapefruit just a few people you know what I mean? Like, fuck. Yeah, great dry finish. Uh, I would, I would just say it's kind of peachy, grapefruit, and orange. Typical, kind of like Hopical Illusion, kind of like Phillips Blue Buck, kind of like Alley Cat has one of those fucking ones too. That's really good. Uh, this is very sessionable for an IPA, and it's uh, you're not getting any alcohol really. It's, it's really, it's all about the fruit and this and a bit of the malts, and it's very filtered, which like extremely. That's the most filtered IPA I think I've ever seen. Like that's clear as a bell. So that's kind of new. So it's kind of uh, got kind of a different texture and stuff because of that. Uh, that's a little bit uh, unique to me. <laughs> I'm sure I've had some filtered ones, but that's, that's, they ran that through, uh, 
a Brita charcoal filter, you know? <laughs> okay. Well, it's not, it's not the greatest IPA I've ever had or anything. It's definitely easy drinking, very smooth, very clean, a lot better than I thought it was going to be. And uh, I don't know what the price of this is by the six pack, because I got this out of uh, Build Your Own Six Pack. Sorry, I might have to do that, sneeze again. From Andrew Hilton. So I got this six pack box, and then they have all these beers. They have these little stickers on them, So, and they're on a part of the shelf. So if they have a sticker like that, you can... Put them inside the six pack and you, you pay uh, 16 something for the six pack, which is a little bit more than maybe some of these beers are on their own. They're about $14, a lot of them in six packs, but uh, you're, you're getting to to shoot, to get all these uh, singles basically for a lot less than you normally get singles from. So we had, of course, this switch back here. I'll top that up from Lighthouse. We had, uh, I just did the... Uh, uh, this is one from Creamore Springs, but it's called uh, Hops and Bolts, uh, and they, they like have like a fake brewery name or something, Mad and Noisy Brewing. So I don't know if that's like a different building, or if that's a partner of theirs. But it's it's from Creamore Springs, and it tastes a lot like Creamore Springs, and that was awesome. So I just reviewed that one, so check that out. And these ones will be coming shortly, or they'll probably be up by the time anyone sees this. So shoots Brewing, and I've seen this around. I've heard lots about it, so I'm really excited to try shoots. This is their fresh squeezed IPA. So that one's coming. Uh, right on. Where the a ABV is on here. Sometimes these American ones don't say. But uh, it's not that important, I'm sure. You know, anyway. I got another one from Montana. I've had the pig's ass porter and I think some, maybe something else from Montana. But this is Trout Slayer Weetail from Big Sky Brewing Company, Missoula, Montana. Big Sky, that's a slogan down there. I, I used to go down there when I was a kid and shit. It's pretty close by. Uh, and uh, Barking Squirrel, I've seen this label. I must have seen this in the liquor stores or, or on online on reviews. This. I don't know how big this is. Hop City. It's a uh, Hop City Brewing Company from Brampton, Ontario, and St. John's, New Brunswick. So uh, that's a that's a flat out lager at five percent. So uh, that sounds pretty cool. And I got this other one called from from Tool Shed called Star Cheek IPA at six point two percent out of Calgary. Um, <laughs> and it's a it's a full on aluminum can with a sticker all the way around. So that was really weird. And then it has a thing on here pairings. Light and dark. So it's a light malt, so, and then it's, uh, they say it's three quarters of the way up in the hops. Is born in Calgary, Tool Shed Brewing. Um, they have their license number and their Twitter and their Facebook shit on here. And I hope that's good because there's not, there's not very many craft breweries in Alberta at all, you know. We got Alley Cat, we got Wild Rose, and we got Big Rock. And, uh, and there's supposed to be one getting built in Lethbridge here. It's, uh, it's supposed to be about loggers. I try to get a hold of them. Uh, they're pretty busy. They don't want to hire me. <laughs> we'll find out if your beer is any fucking good. It's uh, called uh, Wild West fucking Brewing or some shit. It's supposed to be like about loggers, kind of like how... We had the House of Lethbridge that brewed old old style pills, Pilsner and uh, Lethbridge brand beer from the Six Six Brothers, uh, kind of like adjunct pale lager um, back in the day. I think it like survived prohibition or some shit. Man, my visor's getting in the way. <clears throat> well. Final verdict. I think I'm, I'm milking this one quite long. It's nine minutes. Oh, shit, it's ten minutes in. Well, I'm going to say it's really solid. I'm going to give it uh, eight and a half. It could be a little bit more extreme and stuff, but it actually is It is extremely like well-balanced and well-put-together, and I think it tastes like it'll be a consistent product. And I actually really, even though it's just like an eight and a half to me, like out of IPAs, I highly recommend drinking it because it's... it's uh, it's one of those IPAs like Hopical Illusion or Phillips Blue Buck or, or something like that that's 
that's very drinkable and not too over the top. And so it is, it is kind of a, I like these beers cause they don't make me sick. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's good to have lighter malt beers. The hops don't bother me at all. It's 6% as sometimes it just feels good in your stomach and, and that's easy drinking. And so that's, that's great. But, uh, this is a lot better than I thought. So beer zerker, uh, definitely give these guys a shot and, and support them and shit. Cause I think that, uh, any beer snob would like this, they just wouldn't think it's over the top. Berserker and I'm out.